train. Once again, he's been caught out though, and it's that man, Connor Knight. And it's a lovely little ball into Peter Grogan here. Who, there's a brain man at the back post, and it's. Oh, Jesus, that's a huge let off for Longford. I think we'll see a replay of it here, Gary. And it was once again, Kyle O'Connor was just caught out, maybe dilly dallying Look on the at ball that. here. Yeah. Dilly dallying, and, and then. It's good play. Not by breaking his neck to get back either. Connor Knight Desperate. Gives the, and it's a, a great ball across here, and just at the back post, and. Oh, he'd be he'd be devastated. He didn't hit into Harry Groom, and Groom picks a pass here. And we have a long distance shot here. Oh, and it's a good save from Jack Brady. Had to be alert to that because that was dipping, and he just opts to put it out for a corner there. But we might be able to see a replay of that. That was. Oh, we will. There was no Longford man closing him down. Yeah, and Longford have suffered from that this season. Where's the man coming out to? You know. I think it was Griffin that hit that shot. Keep mindful. Gonna see a good delivery in here, and it's good delivery into the box. All right, and sixes and sevens Ooh. there, and it, it it was Grogan again. I think that got the got the header on it there, and it's just over the bar. But yeah, we can see it here in the replay the, there. I think it was Grogan. It was Grogan, yeah. And he's been winning a lot of headers tonight, Gary. He has, yeah. He's kind of caused a few problems for for Longford Town players. So you can see it here. He's kind of two Longford Town players kind of standing looking at him. Oh. Just another poor pass there by Carl Chambers, unfortunately. Allows Bray to try and get an attack here, but oh, hands after letting the ball by him, and he could be caught out there. And it's a huge chance here for Bray Wanderers, and it's 1 0. Bray Wanderers. What a, what a cool finish there. Yeah, very good stuff there from Bray. They go 1 up. Um, desperate defending from Longford Town. Just a real all starts there with the, with the pass from, poor pass from Chambers that's picked yeah, up. And it and nothing real ball there really indecision by Ushing Hand unfortunately doesn't get the meat on it and it's uh, that's Grogan the danger man there just coolly says thank you very much I'll slap that home and connected well but th yeah that, that show should have been taken three seconds before <laughs> like, uh, the urgency has to be out through the roof here from Longford yeah and it's a, a ball in by Kyle O'Connor but it's been well blocked by the Bray defender but it fall, it's going to fall to Shane Elwardy here at the edge of the box and he oof. oh look at he tries a rattle of it on the outside of the boot. I think there was a bit of spin on the ball there, but there probably wasn't too many options in front of him. I suppose we've been critical of players at times not taking on the shot, but probably just didn't have the right technique there, and there was no danger of it. It's going to give Ushin Hand a go here, and he steps into it, but it's just probably a heavy touch there, and Longford could be on the back foot here. It's a good ball out to the right-hand side, and Bray Wanders are... Three or four men in the box here, and Bray Wanderers could be 2 0. 2 0, Bray Wanderers, and what a finish! What a finish there, and it's a quick counter attack by Bray Wanderers. And is that Max Murphy with the goal? I think it is, and Longford have it all to do here. Fantastic goal by Bray Wanderers, you can see it there. Fantastic vision, just he's, he's begging nope. for the ball out to him. No pressure on the, on the pass out there, and he's putting in the hard yards, and Murphy, and he just thinks around. Good power and places it in, and Fran Campbell trying to get it going, and good ball into Chris the Lyons. The best ball good all turn. night. Good turn by Lyons, and he he's going to feed it out wide. This, and it's a half a chance there for Longford, but he, he probably should have pulled the trigger, Gary. Trying to do the overlap and look for the return ball, he does get it, and Jeez, good uh, tackle there. He got a lot of player before he got any That's ball. Good tackle, and now <laughs> Edward is out. Edward is out of position here. Bray could kill this game off. It's a ball into the box at the back post. And oh, oh. he'll be kicking himself there, Turley. He had a free header at the. It was a beautiful ball into the back post, and Turley has a free header there to to kill the game, and it just fizzes by the post. And huge nah. let off there for Longford Town. Massive. Oh, well, I'm tired of, we're doing a lot of summon <laughs> this season for Longford Town. Yeah, and as we say that, Bray could have a third here, and it's a third goal for Bray Wanderers. What a strike from the edge of the box and. Harry I Groom makes a three. I think that's all she wrote for Longford Town tonight, and a, a dis another disappointing night in Bishopsgate. But from a Bray Wanderers point of view, it's three goals. They scored three last week. They've got three again here tonight. We'll Shame see it here on the replay. Touch. Yeah, just a poor touch, and Groom is in, and it's it's a it's a solid finish there. Solid finish, absolutely. Um, Jack. Oh, and Luke Wade Slater just drills it into McGarrison. But that is the final whistle there. and It's Longford Town nil. 
Bray Wanderers 3 and a fantastic win for Bray Wanderers.